Tim. Ebbs, my oh, boy. How, how are you, you doing? I can't get too close, but how you yeah, doing? Yeah, one of these ones. Nice to see you. How are you doing? I'm all good, bro. Lots of news, lots of, lots of, lots of new things <laughs> happening at Arsenal yeah. and with you as well. First of all, I just have to say, congratulations, bro. Thank you, man. No, I appreciate uh, it. You must, be, you must be buzzing, man. New bro, contract. Can't complain. You know, I've been waiting so long for this day. And um, yeah, to, to carry on playing for this wonderful club, you know, yeah. it's no better, no better thing for me to do, you know. Well, this is it. We're at, you know, <laughs> on the hallowed turf. This is your home for many, yeah. many more years now. Uh, um, but yeah, obviously, big, big congratulations. Thank you. Um, how much does that mean to you, though? Like, obviously, you, you've been at this club for so long. This is your club. Um, to be shown that trust and, and be rewarded and yeah. staying for, for many more years. It feels a bit surreal, to be honest. You know, obviously, I've been, at, I've been in the club since nine years old, so it's a big moment for me and my family, and, you know, everyone's happy for me. But, yeah, like I said, man, I can't wait to, you know, put my head, head down now and carry on working. Beautiful. <laughs> you say you've been here since nine years old, so it's been ten years. Yeah. And new contract, uh, new season, new kit as well, and new number. <laughs> Now, this is it. I mean, you're the number 10, bro. Look, you know, know, you've got a big smile on your face. How much does that mean to you, though? Bro, I can't explain it right now. Knowing the players who have worn this shirt before, and, you know, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. And this know? is the thing, like, you, you know as well, this is the thing, you know what that shirt represents. I mean, the history yeah. of Arsenal and it's just the number 10s in general. Yeah. Um, Dennis Bergkamp, for example, like... <laughs> There's a, there's a lot of responsibility that goes with it. Yeah, of course. But I'm guessing you're looking forward to it as well, though, no? 100%. I'm looking forward to it, you know, obviously getting all the fans back as well. And yeah, I can't wait to get on the pitch, to be honest, and wear the shirt. So I'm buzzing, man, I'm buzzing. I want to be a legend here, and, you know, that, that hasn't changed at all. Um, you know, coming up through the academy and stuff and seeing, seeing all of our young, young players grow into the first team, you know, yeah. something that I want to carry on doing. And yeah, I can't wait to to see what the future holds. But yeah, I definitely want to become a legend here, 100%. Yeah, bro. Hey, it's a good start, getting <laughs> yeah. that number 10. It's a great start. Yeah, it's a great start. We're, we're going to talk about that Chelsea game because I feel like that's when, that's when everything changed, <laughs> yeah. right? But it's not just been since then. Obviously, it's been a super long journey for mm. you, as you said, since you were nine years old. Um, along the way, I mean, what, what are your feelings of, of, of this journey so far um, and, and the people that, that played like a, a big part in that as well? Yeah. No, yeah, obviously it's been, it's been a difficult journey. You know, I've had many, many highs and many lows and stuff. I've had so much help around me, you know, my family, the coaches along the way and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, I just want to repay everyone with the faith that they've shown in me. And like I said, I can't wait to, you know, get on the pitch in front of all the fans and, you know, make them happy. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, beautiful. Is there anyone in particular, especially like, say like a Hayland and any of the coaches that, that you feel were, were, were really important for you because um, obviously the youth system here at Arsenal is obviously a massive thing. We can see with yourself and Bukayo yeah, and so many others. Um, yeah, I feel like when I first went up to the first team training ground, London Colney, like in my, when I was about 16, 17, um, there was two coaches, Kwame and Padu and, and Ken Gillard, both helped me so much, yeah. you know, even like after training, you know, just talking to me so much and stuff. And I feel like for me personally, that was really good because um, I always like to listen and take on what people are telling me. Um, but even short short spells, I remember when Thierry Henry was at was you know coaching like here and uh, Freddie Lundberg as well. Yeah. So like everyone knows they're two legends and yeah. you know it's obviously getting experience from them. You yeah, can't really complain, you know. New season, you must be looking forward to it um, because new kit. <laughs> We've talked about the new number, which is great, obviously yeah, number ten. Of course. Um, but the new kit, mate, it looks beautiful. It's unbelievable, man. You know, obviously you've got the away one on as Come well, on, which mate. is looking really I've good. Got my, I've got I don't know how this has happened, right? But I've got to give my own name as if I'm actually yeah. a player. I'm not, obviously. Buzzing, buzzing. <laughs> but no, yeah, bro, like, the colours are amazing. It's fitting really well, so, yeah, man. It's, it's... Can't wait. The Emirates, I mean, fingers crossed, it looks like it's going to be full again as well. Yeah. And I, mean, I feel like since you've truly burst onto the scene and really become like a pivotal figure in this Arsenal team, You've been um, you, you've been denied this opportunity to play in front of a full Emirates Stadium, yeah. where people are chanting your name. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. how much are you looking forward to that and that that yeah. energy back? No, I'm really looking forward to it, honestly, man. Like like you said, you know, we've been unfortunately had to play without fans for for so long now. But yeah, I can't wait to just get on the pitch of you know a full stadium. And I used to come in and watch watch games with yeah. a full stadium. So being being able to get the opportunity to play is like. I can't. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, like, I'm literally run. I don't know what to say, bro. I also feel like where we're at right now, is this where you... I feel like this is roughly where you came onto the with, like, Newcastle with yeah. you and Laka linking up. <laughs> Was it around here? I remember Laka flicking it on and me just 
controlling it and literally half volleying it into the bottom left corner. So I can see it now. I can see that it's, yeah. the, the lights are on. <laughs> I can see it every time I look in the pitch. And obviously yeah. I'm running over there, sliding. and It would have just been perfect if the fans were all there. But yeah. no. I'm sure it's going to happen this season. Yeah, so. mate, it will, it will. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait for it, obviously. Um, but also, you've, you've had quite a lot of action. Right? I remember you saying you've only scored on this side of the pitch, this yeah, half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What um, is it about this half of the pitch? I don't know what I, it is. I don't know what it is either, to be honest. Um, what, you don't like yeah, the clock even... end or what? <laughs> What's wrong with the clock end? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but literally, like, when I first broke into the team, yeah. even when I was getting Europa League minutes and stuff, yeah. when I was, like, 18, I remember scoring, <laughs> scoring in this goal, and then, yeah, it's literally... Yeah. Keep scoring. <laughs> no, but I, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. As long as you keep scoring and yeah, assisting, yeah. that's all that matters, you know. It's true. Um, but I also feel like this, I mean, we'll talk about the Chelsea game as well. Yeah. This is roughly, I think, this is where Bukayo obviously would yeah, be yeah. as well. <laughs> um, that Chelsea game, right, obviously you've been known about and you've been on the books for so long. But do you agree, I think a lot of Arsenal fans will think that that for me is when everything changed last yeah. season, right? Yeah. Well, um, not so. just for, for, for Arsenal and for our season, like, but for you. Yeah. Definitely. Um, yeah, I was a bit surreal, to be honest. Obviously, the gaffer called me into a meeting and just said, you know, you're starting tonight against Chelsea. And yeah. I couldn't believe it at the time, but I remember just everyone helping me so much. And yeah, yeah obviously, we started really well. Um, I remember Laka scoring a penalty and then Granite scoring a free kick. And yeah, I think we just kept kept the level quite high and stuff. Yeah. And I remember obviously passing it to V and him absolutely crossing it into the circle. <laughs> you saying crossing it? I'm not going to say he's, he meant that, but I'm going to say <laughs> he's tried crossing it. We'll, let, we'll chat to me after and yeah, we'll see what he we'll said. Yeah, we'll see to him. But, but, but that, that game, though, because, like, you, you say, obviously, you passed it to B and, and, and Granite scored and Laka yeah. scored, but you were an unbelievably important player in, in that team, and I don't, think, I don't think anyone really expected it to be, to, to you, to have that big an impact, mm. especially in a game that big. And then from there, it just... It just kept, you know, you, you yeah. just kept on performing, kept on performing. What, what was it? What did you did you sense something when you were playing that game that you were like, oh, you know what? I can actually boss this. Like, yeah. I, I truly belong. I was really nervous before the game, yeah. like I always get. But you know, I thought it was just a, a big opportunity for me to show yeah. show what I can do, you know. And I feel like, yeah, in the game, I feel like I've done quite well and stuff. And yeah, from there, I feel like I just progressed quite a lot into the season. And, yeah. Yeah. Overall, I was happy with the way I ended the season. Um, but yeah, I was buzzing to obviously beat Chelsea as yeah, well, you know. Yeah, of um, course. I mean, there were a lot more highlights as well, though, obviously, yeah, you played yeah, so yeah. well. So a lot more highlights in, in the season <laughs> as well. But I feel like, yeah, that was just like, that was a real pivotal moment. And obviously, like, made so many Arsenal fans happy seeing seeing the youth come through, yeah. seeing yourself. I mean, Bukayo, who's, who's been unbelievable yeah. and uh, you've course. sung his praises countless yeah, times, you know. Yeah, always, man, always. Um, I mean, how, for, just a, a chat on him, by the way, what he's done this summer as well. <laughs> yeah, I can't speak highly enough of him honestly like the nicest guy I know as well off the pitch and yeah, yeah I think it's it's just it's perfect for him you know like he's 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 making all the steps and yeah I'm really happy for yeah. him so and it's also it's not just you and him as well so many of these academy boys coming through playing together and that chemistry really showing through on the pitch as well yeah do you feel that amongst you boys as well obviously you get along with everyone and, and yeah, yeah. The, the chemistry on the pitch is there with everyone yeah. but does it feel that little bit extra special stepping out with Bukayo for example yeah, yeah. and you're like you're you're both bossing it in a game you know what I mean does that do you look to each other and you think you know this is special <laughs> yeah always man yeah like even when we're just lining up in a tunnel and stuff next to each other um yeah it's crazy and obviously like you said we've grown up together yeah gone through the academy and yeah, when we do step on the pitch, um, it's a crazy feeling. Sort of going back to that, that Chelsea game as well, um, you said the boss obviously put you in, yeah. you had a meeting and he said, look, I'm going to start you tonight. Yeah. Um, since then, that trust that, that he's shown you and the coaches and, and everyone's shown you at the club, obviously resulting in, in the new contract and everything, um, how, does that, how much does that mean to you to, to, to see Mikel trust you so much in this team? Yeah. No, it means so much, obviously him playing for this club as well, it just makes it even yeah. better. Yeah. And obviously having him as my manager and I think for me, it's just, I just want to repay him the faith that he's put in me. Yeah. Obviously all the opportunities that he's given me last season, I just want to, you know, keep pushing on and make him more proud this season, you know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I can't wait to carry on working with him and, you know, everyone loves him, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we all love it, so yeah, man. It's amazing, it's <laughs> amazing. And what, where do you see, also next season as well, like, even, even for someone so young, right, you're 20 years old, You've achieved so much, right? Like, what is your what is your aim for next season? Personally, you know, I just want to maintain my 
my, my place in the team, you know. Mm -hmm. Keep keep improving every day and in every game as well. Yeah. And I want to improve improve my goals. I want to score more, you know, create more. Yeah. Create more goals for for my teammates and stuff. Nice. But you know, in terms of as a whole, I think it's important that we want to get into Europe. Of course, um, it's really important when you're back in the Champions League and stuff. Now you are so like recognisable and obviously now your Arsenal is number 10, right? <laughs> and obviously you don't want to put too much pressure on it and everything yeah. like that, but like obviously that, that does come with responsibility and stuff. Do you, th yeah. do you think you even realise like what that, what that means to even like kids growing up? Because like yeah. the way when we grew up, right, we were looking at oh, Dennis Bergkamp, like yeah. number 10. Of course. And like more recently, obviously Mesut Ozil, Wilshere yeah. and all this, right? Do you realise, do you think you realise the, the, the weight that comes with that? Um, and I've been trying to like understand. Yeah. Like, what it really means. Yeah. Obviously, I understand like the players and stuff, but you course, know, yeah. like, like I still can't believe that I'm actually Arsenal number You're ten. You're Arsenal you know? number so ten, like, bro. It's a big, it's such a big thing for of me course. and my family. And yeah, I just wanna, bro. I, I don't know. I just wanna scream. Yeah, no, it's great. Like, <laughs> no, but you know what it is? It's like obviously, it's. It's not even like the fact that oh, you don't believe that you're number 10, but it's like you deserve it though. You know what I mean? Like obviously you are a number 10 anyway, but like I feel like this is so deserved from, this is just it's me speaking as a fan, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And like from that game against Chelsea and since then and how pivotal a player you've been like, yeah. who else could you give it to? You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's genuinely for me and I think a lot of Arsenal yeah. fans would agree, like it, it's, it makes sense. You know, I know there's loads of pressure to come with it, but you know, I'm willing to take it on and you know, I can't wait to get on the pitch like I've been saying all the time. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, I'm buzzing. Right, well, Ems, thank you so much for that. I mean, it's been a pleasure yeah. um, chatting about, obviously, your new contract, well-deserved, but everything, new, new shirt, new season, <laughs> new yeah. number. I, honestly, I can't wait for it. I'm the same as you, bro. Yeah. I'm almost a fan as well. Yeah. Like, but I've got to play, so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> You've got to play, so yeah. You can do the play and I'll yeah, just be yeah. the fan, I'll be the fan. <laughs> but yeah, right, should we just go and... Yeah. We'll just go. Good. We'll grab a coffee or something. Yeah, let's yeah, go. We'll have a little catch up. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Ems. Appreciate it. No worries, it. bro. Guys, hope you enjoyed. We're off. That was nice. It's decent, isn't it? That was good, mate.